Hi everyone and welcome to this lore explanation video here on the Star Wars Life YouTube channel. I hope you enjoy this video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up, drop me a comment and subscribe to the channel. Chapter 13 of The Mandalorian titled The Jedi is one of my favourite episodes of Season 2, after the finale of course. Chapter 13 saw the return of Ahsoka Tano and it was her live action debut, played by Rosario Dawson. The portrayal was perfect and I loved every moment of the episode. At the end of Ahsoka's duel with the Magistrate where Ahsoka is triumphant against her, Ahsoka asks for the location of Thrawn which tells us that there is a larger quest here for Ahsoka. And that brings me to the reason for this explanatory video. There seems to be some confusion about the chronology of Chapter 13 of The Mandalorian and the finale of Star Wars Rebels. Dave Filoni and Rosario Dawson were interviewed by Vanity Fair and Dave Filoni hinted to an explanation of the chronology. Simply put, Dave Filoni infers that Chapter 13 occurs before the Rebels finale, where Ahsoka finds Sabine to begin their quest to find Ezra Bridger. In Chapter 13 of The Mandalorian, Ahsoka is seeking the location of Thrawn from the Magistrate to assist her in a quest to locate Ezra. With the information she learns about Thrawn's location, which we're yet to see play out, Ahsoka used that information to look for Ezra. Here's the Q&A from Vanity Fair with Dave Filoni's explanation. Variety asks, and I quote, that quest, we learn, is a search for the villain Grand Admiral Thrawn. The last time fans saw Ahsoka was this spring's finale of The Clone Wars, but in the actual Star Wars chronology, the last time we saw her was at the end of Rebels, venturing off with Sabine Wren to find Ezra Bridger, who vanished along with Thrawn. Where does that scene fit in where we find her in The Mandalorian? End quote. Filoni responds, and I quote, Right, but no, it's an interesting one. That's not necessarily chronological. I think the thing that people will most not understand is they want to go in a linear fashion, but as I learned as a kid, nothing in Star Wars really works in a linear fashion. You do episodes 4, 5 and 6 and then 1, 2 and 3. So in the vein of that history, when you look at the epilogue of Rebels and don't really know how much time has passed. So it's possible that the story I'm telling in The Mandalorian actually takes place prior to that. Possible. I'm saying it's possible." End quote. So there you have it, Dave Filoni hints towards the finale of Rebels being after Chapter 13. I hope you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more Star Wars videos yet to come. May the Force be with you all. Cheers.